Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 31 to 33 of Bakuman. Just gonna get started with 31 in 3, 2, 1. Hold on. In 3, 2, 1. Go. I am dreading this episode because still. Because <laughs> Baby is sick, and I don't like this. He's also going to walk in on them, isn't he? <laughs> and you know what's even crazy? Okay, so last week... I think what um a Twitter page said something mm -hmm. like just last week going on into this week um because I, I need to catch up with my hero I think I'm like a chapter or two behind um freaking same thing he he's taking a break for a week because of his health like Oh my god, and the fact is that, you know, we ended last week with Machido collapsing and talking about health and getting enough sleep and getting enough food to eat and this is that and the third, and then this happens <laughs> with freaking Honigoshi. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Like, that coincidence? Bruh, no, it's too much. Mm-mm. I have been dreading this ever since last week. I was like, oh, God, I don't want to watch this, even though, like, I want to know if he's okay. But at the same time, like, my baby, I love him so much, and I just don't want him to get sick really, really bad. Because I get it. When you love something, you eat, breathe, sleep it, no matter what. But at the same time, you balance, you know, your work play versus, you know, sleep. You, that, you don't play with that shit. You do not fucking play with that shit. You always gotta eat. You always gotta sleep and take breaks when you need to. Like, oh my god. Mm. You know, Azuki is gonna scold the shit out of him, right? Excuse me. That is. Has he gotten food and sleep though? Well, I mean, of course, like he just woke up, so yeah, so. Exactly, it probably could be not that bad. I don't know, wait, why do they need to remove a portion of his liver, though? No! Mm-mm. 
Three. Mm. Exactly. You just get better. My child is hard headed as fuck. You know he's gonna make calls no matter what. But what if it gets worse? This is your life we're not gambling with. Exactly. Yeah. 
shit, but I'm so fucking confused on why the fuck he has to get the damn surgery. Is it because of the fact is he hasn't eaten or sleep? And because of the fact is all that was in his system was energy drinks and such? I mean, there's just no laughing matter, but guys. I know you don't, but you, there's no other choice. What can you do? You know, I really hate when someone says stay calm because it's like, hmm, how can I stay calm when you're about to tell me something that's not going to make me calm? Well, you know what? This is an emergency also. Our sandals are cute.
Exactly. So you need to focus on your health first and work second. Trust me, I know that feeling all too well. Now? Um. It's okay. Right? Right? <laughs> You don't want to give him the fruit, though?
the fact that she's helping him. Oh my god. <laughs> I really thought as he was going to be like, no, you can't work. You might die. Like, oh my god. I understand the reason of why. I get it because we've all been there. Once we get the taste of that, like, success, you you want to do everything in your power to keep going and be successful. Even if you get really sick. I mean, there are days where, there's been days where I've gotten, like, really, really sick. Um, I, I've woken up with, like, an extremely bad headache to the point where I feel like I can't concentrate um, when watching something, and then if I'm, like, if I haven't eaten yet or whatever and shit like that, like, I try to go ahead and eat before I record and such, but there was one day, like I said, where I woke up with a really, really bad headache, and my body was achy and everything, and thank God this, this was before, way before COVID, um, but I, I was, <laughs> I was so sick. That I, it was hard for me to get up. Like, really, really hard for me to get up. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to push through it. I'm going to give me something to eat. Um, I'm going to lay in my bed for, like, 30 minutes to an extra hour. And then if I feel better, I'll go ahead and record. And I felt a little bit more better. But at the same time, I could feel that, like, my body was just very drained. And I didn't have enough energy and such. Um... So, the the unfortunate thing is sometimes, like, even if you don't even want to postpone something, sometimes you have to listen to your body and its needs and everything and be like, okay, I gotta postpone this. And I remember one time when I had to, because I had gotten so sick so badly, um, it was a little bit of a hit or a miss. There were some people who were very, very kind and sweet and saying, oh, hey, you know, be okay, da, 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 like don't you know make sure your health is fine first you know foremost this is that and third well some people were a little bit of upset and stuff but i was like look you don't want anything to happen to anybody as a youtuber as anything in their career who whatever career they typically typically go into and if they have fan bases you don't want anyone to get sick or even worse at the end of the day because i think oh god i don't I, did i talk about this uh, no there was somebody who was an anime reactor who very recently, I think around last year, um, passed away. I never really got to know the person, but I, I've seen their videos with two other people that he did videos on, especially with one series that I did when I started. Um, I was in a compilation with the three of them, myself, and then like two other guys. And this was for a series called The Daily Lives of High School Boys. And... Like I said, unfortunately, one of them passed away just last year because we all found out. And it was one of the most, like, saddest things because when, it, when it's someone who, even if you barely don't really have a connection with them, but and you didn't even get to know them, but you did know that they loved, like, anime just as much as you and such, it hurts. And especially, like, even when a celebrity dies or someone who you really, like, liked as a fan base or whatever, it really, truly hurts. So at that time when it happened, um... I was upset. I was extremely upset by it because it, it's one of the most saddest things to see, to hear someone pass away and such. And so I remember like tweeting saying like, you know, remember just to get a lot of sleep, do this, this that, and the third. Um, I remember one, <laughs> a couple of my subscribers slash fans uh, messaged me and they were like, you know, even though you're saying all this, please do this yourself. Please be healthy, happy. Um... And everything, make sure you get enough food and drink and water because you never know what the heck is going to happen. There, There's so many things that I don't really know specifically about that person and such. And it, it, it it's sad. It truly is. But at the same time, please, 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 please be healthy and make sure that nothing is wrong. Always, like, if you have to, even if you feel like something is wrong, go to the hospital. Go make a doctor's appointment, please. Be Be safe, you know. I'm just saying. But yeah, the fact is that Azuki is helping him. I mean, she truly believes in him. And she loves him to the point where it's like, you want this done? Okay, we're going to do this together. Because that's the only way he is going to get it done. It, it, it's sad at the same time to see him, like, 
holding something as simple as a pen or a marker or something and then it just like comes out of his hands and you're just like oh my god like this is getting worse like you need to tell him to stop and such but because Mashiro is so determined to do this he's not really gonna listen to anyone he's gonna listen to Azuki no matter what because you know that's Azuki but <laughs> when it comes to like higher ups and everything it's just a big old fuck you like I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want this is that in the third but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 32 okay episode 32 and three Two, one, go. The death note feels that I'm kind of getting on this. Like, oh my god. It's funny enough because I'm rewatching Death Note for like the bazillion time. <laughs> Are you sure? Cause like I said, he ain't taking no for an answer. Exactly. You've already done so well. Exactly, yes. I mean, because she loves you. Homegirl fucking loves you. Best girl loves you so fucking much that she is willing to come every single day just to see you.
I just love babe. You sure? I hate the fact that they would choose today to do this. I mean, they could have did this on Tuesday or a Wednesday when I'm recording Kobayashi, but no. Because really, I thought she was going to be like, no, get out. Mm. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, he's his mom. She's his mom, so he has to say certain things. Oh, he has his ways. There's gotta be a point where you can be free. Right, I thought so too, but it's just telling you how much she supports him and loves him. And being the biggest cheerleader.
I can't with his fucking eyes. True, you know, business. That's so fucked up. That's that's unfair though. Because of the fact is you're sick and you're in the fucking hospital. That's why. In a way it does. You could possibly be going down the same road. I get the fact that you don't want to go on hiatus. I get it. You were, your passion is hell, but you have to listen to your body and to the higher ups. Exactly. So it just would be what uh, better until he discharges. Exactly. 
exactly. Excuse me? <laughs> you just went like time out. You gonna see your fucking ass in school. Uh -huh. It is, but... Watch it all. Exactly. Yeah, because honestly, I don't really like her <laughs> too, no. I mean, I get it. 100%, I get it. But at the same time, when someone is so... Not, well, still so close, but still so far at the same time to their dream. And, and then, you know, higher up says, no. Like... That's how you know it's gotten really bad to the point where everybody on this floor is saying it. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
god, I can't. Really? Right. So do you think we care? <laughs> Well, if you don't, then in a way, are you out of a job? Yes, so, mmm, damned if you damned if don't. Honestly, I think this is a good idea. This reminds me of, because this happened just very recently, about sometime between this year going into last year. So there is this, um, <laughs> Atome game that got an anime, like, sometime last year, aka called Mr. Mr. Love Queen's Choice, I believe that's how you say it. I always get confused by it so many freaking times. Um, well, something happened, like, one of the say, one of the, no, one of the voice actors, um, one of the original ones got switched to a newer voice actor, right? And the newer voice actor tweeted something that the higher ups of that series didn't like. So, instantly, he was fired. And the other three who have been the um been the original voices of those three ever since the game had came out in english had all decided that if this person didn't get their job back we would go on hiatus as well and so all four including the one who just got fired um were on hiatus and so it it got to the point where like the day or the week that 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 it happened like it was trending, I think, like, every single freaking day. And I really, truly thought that, you know, the company, especially the, the Chinese company, and then the English company who was distributing it and doing the voice actors and such, that we really would have been like, oh, okay, like, we're going to stop. <laughs> we're not going to update the game or anything. We're really going to truly have everybody come back to the office sort this thing out like you know adults and um try to work through it and find a conclusion well long story short in the end all four 
voice actors for these four main leads of characters in this game all got replaced. And I didn't find this out until fairly recently. I think about like three or four weeks ago. Um, because I, I, I was... <laughs> I, uh, I hadn't played this game in about like almost six months to a year. Um, I, I forgot I was following the Twitter page of this series. And I saw that they were releasing a video um for like one of the new gotchas that was coming out so i was like okay let me sit here and listen to the voices and like when i heard the first three guys i thought they sounded just similar to the first three guys that were playing them it wasn't until i got to my personal fave aka the last one aka the dude who also raised when i got first right that i didn't hear his voice and i was like these momos <laughs> literally just and I had to like check I, I literally was searching my butt off um to see if I was right so yeah all four of them got fired and they all got replaced and and it's sad and you would think that even with the fan base saying something that they did and they were all um supporting and with these voice actors and saying that you know we'll drop the game for you guys because we're trying to show this company that we really truly care about this game but we also want you guys to voice these guys in this series and not to have someone else be in it and such and it is unfortunate when an english voice actor has to be replaced and stuff especially you know doing no matter what the consequences is if somebody gets fired if it's a point where it's like um a certain situation between that company and them or this is that third there's so many reasons even what like some of the say use in japan um, where somebody has to get replaced and usually somebody getting sick, whatever, this is that and the third. But it is the one of the saddest things. Now, with this situation, is it going to go good? I don't know. I, I really, I think once the chief editor hears that the rest of these, <laughs> these mangas are like just dropping like flies and the fact is that if they don't have anything, they don't have a freaking issue and they won't be able to sell it and such. So I really do hope that what, you know, the chief editor does is he brings everybody, and I really truly mean everyone, hell, they can all meet up in Machio's <laughs> hospital room and talk this ish out like adults, because in a way, they are adults, even though, like, some of them are still in high school or whatever, they are still adults, so you have to treat them like adults at the end of the day, even though, like, Machido and Akito are still, like, kids in their eyes, especially anyone who was younger than the chief editor, he's going to look at you as a child still, even though you are, you're still a child, but then at the same time, you're an adult, and you're moving on, and you have a job or a career and such, and you're still, like, in the game and everything, but I, I just really hope that this works out for them, because it, it sucks truly to hear someone say, you have to be bedridden, number one, you're not doing anything until you get out, or until you graduate, or do something, and if, especially if it's something that you love, it's going to hurt even worse. And I, I can't imagine that. I mean, there were, I think there was a day. <laughs> I think there was a, no, there was a week. Mine was because I got a copyright strike. I got, I think, two or three in a row. And um, I had to, uh, yeah, because it was for a show. I had to lay low um, because I got in trouble and such. And I was just like, whoa, God. And I could have lost my channel like that. Thank God. Um nothing happened but it was for little witch academia and your girl was dumb and reckless even though i am still dumb and reckless at times when it comes to youtube but especially with what now i'm also hearing with like <laughs> the funimation situation from what i saw on instagram a couple of nights ago and i felt because i felt like funimation is not only watching like you know <laughs> websites they're kind of also watching youtube so that's why like I don't really do what I kind of used to do and shit like that because I'm trying not to avoid to make another channel again even though I technically already have a backup channel but you just never know what the hell is gonna happen but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 33 <laughs> okay episode 33 in three two one go <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Of course he won't, but I think he will truly understand why they're doing this. Dante? Uh-uh. <sighs> this is so fucking complicated. But, you know, he's gonna find out. Like, come on now. Like, see, either he just gonna say something, Machido's gonna find out in, like, some way, shape, or form. But... Let's just hope and pray it doesn't come to the point where four, four manga guys, <laughs> four mangas are all on hiatus as well. But like, as I said, with the Mr. Queen's love choice thing, like, yeah, there, it, it still happens even today. And it just, woo, it's so fucking powerful. But thank God I don't play that a game anymore because it just, after hearing that, like, all four got replaced. It's crazy. Really, really crazy. Over the, even over a tweet that the company just didn't agree with and such. And I don't think it was a, a even the way he was typing it, it wasn't a harmful tweet. He was being, you know, sweet and everything. But because I think in a way when they saw it, and maybe how it was worded, of course, it's like, oh, okay, like he's being a little harmful about this. All right, cut him off. And... It's crazy, but you know, that is life and you could be cut off or the stupidest thing. Because to me it is stupid, but to them, of course, it's not. Seriously? Yeah. I would love to have that money. But he's just being truthful, though. Mm -hmm. And this is something that they all want to do. Of course. Exactly. <laughs> like, like now, we can't wait until tomorrow to do this. Exactly. You don't want to already cause a big commotion as we're currently doing right now.
Yes. It's not going to let go of this. Hunting. Come on, he's a boy. He's hard headed. Yeah, he's too determined. He's always been like that. How's the key? Mm-hmm. That's fucking love, oh my god! Oh my god!
か gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. because they're trying to just exactly
Exactly. <laughs> Excuse me. Please change this. You cheer them on. And you respect their wishes. See, something kind of tells me that once Machido gets discharged, <laughs> they are going to that fucking office and demanding. They so cute. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> we all knew that was going to happen.
And he's completely fine. So please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how did he? <laughs> oh. That's good. I mean, ooh, I really thought Hattie was about to chew the crap out of him and be like, all right, we're about to lay this ish down. <laughs> oh, but I'm so happy. Oh, my God. I think if we want to end this episode with him, with the chief still saying no and we got to next week, I would have been like, motherfucker, you need to see yes, say yes, so they can just continue on and move on and follow their dreams and, you know, get their goals accomplished and everything. But thank God. Thank God Machido's okay. Like, woo, there was a, there's a lot. There was truly a lot writing on this. And thank God everything worked out the way it did. I mean, still... You know, I'm happy. I'm really, truly happy because I was scared, especially with the way the previous episode ended going into this week's episode. And it's like, oh, God, how the fuck is this going to go? <laughs> like, oh, but I'm so happy. Yay. I mean, hell, even having like three episodes, three episodes on my babies, having us three fucking episodes back to back to back like oh that's a win in my book as well i'm so fucking happy <laughs> like you don't even fucking know like oh my god the fact that they had moments to talk to each other i really thought i was like he was gonna kiss him today but okay no we gotta fucking wait God, like, oh my God, we're on a hiatus. I'd be like, you were a little too damn happy about this. Like, <laughs> like, calm your rule. <laughs> he, was, he was waiting. He was waiting. He was like, I need to, like, you know what? We just need to stop this. Like, you know, we've gone a little too far. And it's like, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, like, dip my fingers, my toes, whatever, into the world of manga kids and being a manga. <laughs> all this i didn't think it was gonna be successful but hey you know whatever happens but oh god let this be a learning lesson for machido to hopefully that we don't have to experience this again because if this possibly happens again let's say it does because this is now episode 33 let's say this happens around like episode 40 or very much to almost very close to the end of this series um, who knows if the chief editor will accept it this time. I mean, this was just a very lucky strike. I mean, these boys since day one have been very, very lucky. Not all the time, but at some times. 
and there there are times where like the odds are against them and that you never really truly know how it's really going to like end up for them by like whatever episode we're on and such but like i said if it would have happened again like several episodes later um of course the chief editor would have been like okay i'm not taking no for an answer there is no if ands buts or whatever like you're gonna be on hiatus and you have to do that i don't care what you think i mean there were times like especially in the beginning with the first episode i was agreeing with the editor don't get me wrong even though like i, I i'm like this with him now like we got a love hate relationship but I, I get it for if you are someone who has a worker who overworks themselves to the bone to the point where it's like they're not getting enough sleep and stuff and to the point where they had to get surgery and 50 out of 50 um if it is a corporate company like and if it's that bad like truly the person who got hurt could sue that company and the company ends up has to, having to pay for that person or person's hospital bills and such but thank god that it didn't happen so i'm really just number one hoping that we don't have a situation like this again where mashiro is in the hospital or how even any of these characters have to go to the hospital because it is still sad truly but thank god everything went fine everyone's okay just you know learning lesson mashiro don't do this shit again please but other than that guys that's where your action view towards episodes 31 to 33 of bakuman if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the match squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patrons and next wednesday for everybody else for episodes 34 to 36 but until then i will see you guys all next time bye